Last year, research carried out by the NUS found that some students felt they were unable to participate in sport because of their sexual orientation or gender identity. A survey completed by LGBT students in the UK found that 47% did not take part in sport because they found the culture alienating or unwelcoming, and 42% had negative experiences at school that discouraged them from getting involved at college or university. We spoke to some of our students and asked them to share their experiences with us. We've used actors to portray their stories on camera to protect their identities. When I first came to Lincoln, I went from playing a mainstream sport um, to playing an alternative one. And I knew that it was going to be a difficult move. Um, not so much because of the sort of learning new disciplines and all of that, but more because I knew the stick I was going to get for it. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be, oh, you play that, you must be bent then. You know, um, I mean, I enjoy my sport. And anyone who sort of belittles a sport or an activity sort of needs to go and try it themselves before they say that sort of thing, you know. Um. It was on the way home from varsity last year. There was four of my sports team and me were sat. We had to share a coach with another sports team. And we were right at the back, so already we felt quite intimidated. Um, and then some of the other sports teams decided to pick up the microphone from the front of the coach and start throwing insults at us, uh, homophobic insults. Stuff like, dykes at the back of the bus stand up. Um, yeah. I went to the Sports and Societies Fair in my first year at Lincoln, wanting to sign up, but I found myself intimidated by a lot of the male sports teams. I met a, some of the guys from a team on a night out and I said to them that I used to play their sport before I came to uni. And their reply was, we wouldn't want someone like you on our team. We'd be too scared that you try and touch us up. We were leaving engine shed after a night out when the Christian Union were handing out free bottles of water. So we crossed the road heading home. We suddenly heard a group of people shouting at us, you're all dirty lesbians, you bloody dykes. One of the girls I was with told them to grow up and we carried on walking. Then out of nowhere they started throwing full bottles of water at us, shouting more insults and then they ran off. One of the bottles actually hit my friend in the back which really hurt her. I felt victimised as they were a big group and there weren't many of us and we hadn't done anything to cause any upset. To tackle this issue, Lincoln Students Union is launching a zero tolerance policy as part of its Stamp It Out campaign. Each sports club, society and diversity group affiliated to Lincoln SU will be asked to sign a pledge and agree to abide by the zero tolerance policy. In doing so, we hope to eliminate homophobia in sport at our university. Homophobia in sport. Don't tolerate it. Stamp it out.